Yo guys, it's me, your boy Sir Diaz and welcome sa aking pangalawang math hack video. So before we get started, be sure na nakasubscribe na kayo sa aking YouTube channel. I-hit nyo na yung notification bell. And also, do follow me, my Facebook page. Link in the description box below. So yun nga no guys, uh, kung maaalala nyo yung aking unang math hack video, no, tinuruan ko yung kung paano mag-solve ng quadratic equation gamit ang square root. So in this lesson, tuturuan ko naman kayo kung paano mag-solve ng quadratic equation using factoring. So meron ako dito tatlong given, uh, pinakamadali, papunta ang pinakamahirap. Okay, so let us start. Okay, sagutan natin number one. Okay. So, number 1 is x squared minus 7x is equal to 0. Okay? So, since we are dealing with factoring, no? Uh, ang key term natin ay is to factor, no? We need to factor something from the given quadratic equation. In this case, ano kaya sa tingin nyo yung common sa kanilang dalawa, no? So, ang common sa kanilang dalawa ay x. So, we need to factor out x. So, magiging x is equal to x minus 7 is equal to 0. Okay? So, yan siya. Okay? So, ngayon, ang gagawin nyo lang, uh, gagamitin natin yung tinatawag natin na zero property. No? Wherein, AB is equal to 0. Okay? So, gagawin mo lang, paghihiwalayin mo yung AB, no? Uh, X stands for A, and this equation stands as B. Okay? So, paghihiwalayin mo sila. So, magiging, ang una nating value ay X is equal to 0, and then yung pangalawa naman ay X minus 7 is equal to 0. Okay? So, feel free to pause the video, guys, para maintindihan nyo. So, unang value natin, eto na, nakuha na natin. X is 0. So, yung pangalawa naman, you, need, you just need to transpose it to the other side. So, X is equal to 7. So, anong sagot natin? So, our final answer would be this 2. Okay? Ayan. Okay? Ayan. So, turuan ko na din kayo kung paano mag-check, no? Guys, kung paano nyo malalaman kung tama ba yung sagot nyo. So, ang gawin nyo lang, i-plug nyo tong 0 dito, tsaka tong 7 dito. Okay? Isa-isa lang. So, let's try to use... Okay. So, I'll put here checky. So, let's try to use x is equal to 0. So, gagawin mo lang, palitan mo tong x na to na 0. So, 0 squared minus 7 times 0 is equal to 0. And what is 0 squared? 0. Negative 7 times 0, 0. 0 minus 0, 0. Is 0 equal to 0? Yes. Therefore, x is equal to 0 is correct. Okay? So, if you wanna pause the video, go ahead, guys. Ayan. So, how about 7? No, let's use 7. So, 7 squared minus 7 times 7 is equal to 0. And what is 7 squared? 49. Negative 7 times 7 is also 49, which is 0. Now, is 0 equal to 0? Yes. Therefore, our answer is correct. No? Ayan. So, ganun lang po kung paano mag checking kung tama ba yung sagot. So, therefore, x is equal to 0 and x is equal to 7 are correct answers. Okay? So, next one. So, bura, 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 bura. Okay, yan. Bura, bura lang. Ayan. So, okay guys, let's proceed to number 2. So, number 2 is 25 x squared plus 10x plus 1 is equal to 0. So, kung mapapansin nyo, itong given na to ay quadratic equation. And this quadratic equation is a trinomial, no? Uh, yung number 1 natin ay binomial. So, magkaiba sila. Pero, same lang sila ng procedure kung paano sinasagutan, no? So, dito, ang gagawin nyo lang, factor nyo sila. Okay? 
So dito, mag-iisip kayo ng factors ng 25, x squared, tsaka ng 1. Okay? Ano ba mga factors ng 25? 5 times 5, right? So 5x, 5x. And then plus, plus. Ngayon, ano ang factor ng 1? Dali lang, 1 times 1, di ba? So ngayon guys, para ma-check nyo kung tama yung pagkaka-factor nyo, ang gawin nyo ay multiply nyo lang to. Let's change color of pen. Ayan. So multiply nyo to. Ang sagot dyan ay 5x. And then you multiply this also. Which is also 5x. So i-add natin. So 5x plus 5x is equal to 10x. So kung mapapansin nyo, pag nag-equal ito, tsaka yung middle term natin, ibig sabihin tama ang pagkaka-factor. Okay? So, ganun lang mag-check kung tama ba yung pagkaka-factor nyo ng isang quadratic equation. Okay? So, balik tayo sa sinasikutan natin. Ayan. So, again, babalik tayo doon sa zero property wherein AB is equal to zero. So, this is stand as AB. This is stand as B. So, paghihiwalayin natin. 5x plus 1 is equal to zero. And then, the other one is also 5x plus 1 is equal to 0. Okay? So, ang gagawin mo lang, itatranspose mo ito sa kabila, wherein 5x is equal to negative 1. So, you divide it by 5 kasi kailangan mo lang yung x. No? So, yan. So, magiging x is equal to negative 1 over 5. And since parehas lang naman sila, therefore, this also is equal to negative 1 over 5. So, ang final answer natin ay x is equal to negative 1 over 5. Okay? So, ganun lang siya kasimple, no? Ang mahirap lang dito, no? Kailangan mong isipan ng factor yung first term tsaka last term, no? Kailangan mo silang isipan ng factor. And also, pag nag-check ka, kailangan ang sagot mo yung middle term. Okay? So, let's proceed to number 3. Let's erase this one. Again, feel free to pause the video para mas maintindihan nyo pa siya. No? And also, kung may mga additional na tanong kayo, pwede nyo i-leave sa comment section. No? Uh, I'll try to read it. I'll try to read it and also I'll try to uh, comment also. No? Or to reply. So, let's proceed to number 3. No? So, the given is 18x squared minus 39x is equal to 15. So, itong number 3 ay naiiba siya sa number 1 and number 2. And it's because hindi siya nakaka-general form, no? Ang ating general form dapat ay ax squared plus px plus c is equal to 0. So, kailangan maging ganyan muna siya bago natin siya masagutan. So, in this case, 18x squared minus 39x minus 15 is equal to 0. Okay? So, kung napapansin nyo, ang lalaki ng mga numbers natin, so, ito ay pwede nating i-reduce, no? Pero yun ay applicable lang kung meron silang common factor. In this case, ang common factor natin ay 3. Okay? Yun yung common factor nila. So, i-divide natin. So, this is 6x squared. This is 13x. And this is negative 5 is equal to 0. So, 3 is equal to 0. Disregard na natin kasi 3 is not equal to 0. Okay? So, I'll, I'll erase this one. Ayan. So, magiging, matitira na lang ay 6x squared minus 13x minus 5 is equal to 0. So, in this case, mag-iisip kayo ng factors ng 6 at negative 5. Nakapag-inad mo ang sagot, negative 13. Okay? So, dito papasok yung tinatawag natin na trial and error, no? In this case, uh, ilalagay ko ay 3x plus 1 and then 2x minus 5. Okay? etong 6, ang factor niya ay 3 and 2. Yung negative 5 naman, ang factor niya ay 1 at negative 5. No? So, para ma-check natin kung tama ba yung sagot natin, we need to multiply these two. No? These two pairs. So, what is 2 times, uh, 1 times 2x? That is 2x. 
What is 3x times negative 5? That is negative 15x. So, kapag sinimplify mo, the answer is negative 13x. So, kung papansinin nyo, parehas na ba sa middle term? Yes. Okay? So, kapag nagparehas, ibig sabihin, tama yung ating sagot. Okay? So, tuloy natin. So, lagay ko siya dito sa taas. So, magiging 3x plus 1 is equal to 0. And then, magiging 2x minus 5 is equal to 0. Okay? So, ito yung una. Ito yung pangalawa. So, solve natin. So, una natin, 3x plus 1 is equal to 0. So, this would become 3x is equal to negative 1. And then, we divide both sides by 3. We get x is equal to negative 1 third. So, ito yung una natin. Sagot. Okay? Yan yung kauna-unahan nating sagot. So, lipat tayo sa kabila. So, next one naman ay yung 2x minus 5 is equal to 0. So, same procedure. 2x is equal to 5. So, lagi nyo lang tatandaan guys, pag naglilipat kayo ng mga coefficients like this one, no? lagi siyang nagpapalit ng symbol. No? Kung negative siya at nilipat mo siya sa kabila, magiging positive. Okay? Same apply to this one. No? Dito. So, nilipat ko siya sa kabila, kaya siya naging negative 1. Okay? And then, lastly, you, you divide both sides by 2. Ayan. So, the answer is 5 over 2. Therefore, our answers are negative 1 third and 5 over 2. Okay? So, Ganun lang kasimple kung paano mag-solve na quadratic equation using factoring. No? So, medyo tedious siya na tra matrabaho siya pero kayang-kaya naman. No? So, again guys, thank you for tuning in and thank you for watching my math hack video. No? So, thank you, thank you so much for coming in and please i-like nyo yung aking mga videos and also i-share nyo na din siya para madami ding makapanood. And also, huwag nyo kalimutan mag-subscribe and i-like yung aking Facebook page. So, until the next video, Sir Diaz, out! Bye, guys!